The USA is one of the most popular destinations to move to, since as of the 2019 UN report, the USA by far has the highest population born abroad, numbering at about 50 million. And also relative to its population, the US is home to many foreign born residents. Since I've already compared the 26 cantons of Switzerland, the 9 federal states of Austria and the 16 federal states of Germany, I'd like to use the time in this video to compare all 50 US states with each other. Answering this question is not simple, because there is no clear definition of a state's attractiveness, everyone defines attractiveness differently. Nevertheless, I'll try to answer the questions as objectively as possible. So I'll use measurable factors for this comparison. I'll be comparing the states of Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin and Wyoming in GDP per capita, unemployment rate, tax burden and safety. The outcome of this comparison exclusively depends on these four factors. I believe that these are four quite significant measurable factors to feel comfortable living in the respective state. Of course, there are many more factors such as the climate or the diversity of nature. I believe that in terms of nature, most people would rather live in California, where one can find everything from lakes to giant redwood tree forests from the Pacific coast to deserts, and from ski resorts to beaches, then in the neighboring state of Nevada, which is not as diverse in climate. But because it's hard to measure the diversity of nature, I won't include that factor in the comparison. Since which state is the most attractive to you depends on your personal preferences, it is of course impossible to define the absolute best state in the USA. First, we will look at the four topics for each state, followed by a conclusion at the end of the video. Here is a quick example of how the points are distributed to the states. Let's say in terms of unemployment rate, state A performs the worst, with an unemployment rate of 15%, so that state gets 0 points in this regard. State B with an unemployment rate of 5% has the lowest unemployment rate and therefore receives one whole point. All other states receive a value between 0 and 1, based on how the unemployment rate compares to the unemployment rate of the best and the worst state. To be transparent, I'll display the linear function in every topic. At the end, all the points are added up and it becomes clear which state performs best. And as always, you can find the sources linked in the description below. Let's begin with the gross domestic product per capita. You probably want to move to a state with a strong economy, since a strong economy increases the likelihood of prosperity. In absolute terms, California is by far the state with the strongest economy, but California is also the state with the highest population. According to Wikipedia, Massachusetts is the state with the highest GDP per capita. It amounts to 87,056 US dollars, which is roughly the same as that of Switzerland. The state with the lowest GDP per capita is Mississippi, where it is at 41,207 US dollars. About the same as the GDP per capita of France. Since Massachusetts scores best here, it receives one whole point, Mississippi gets zero points and all other states a value between zero and one. I think the unemployment rate is another factor to consider when moving to a state. The state with the lowest unemployment rate is Nebraska, where it is at 2.5% according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. The two states with the highest unemployment rates are New Mexico and Connecticut, both amounting to 7.9%. We again assign a value between 0 and 1 to all US states and continue with a short overview of the current results. 
If we look only at GDP per capita and the unemployment rate, the state of Nebraska leads the race. Nebraska is followed by Massachusetts, South Dakota, North Dakota and Utah. Bringing up the rear are the states of New Mexico at 50th place, Mississippi ranking 49th, Nevada, Louisiana and Arizona. Let us see how this ranking changes when we consider the tax burden and safety. The tax burden is also an important factor to consider. As in most countries, the tax burden is made up of a wide variety of individual taxes. The state income tax, the property tax and the sales tax are probably among the most significant taxes in the US. It is wrong to only look at the state income tax, because what is the point of paying 0% state income tax in Texas, for instance, but about 2% of property tax every single year? Here are some more facts worth knowing about the taxes in the USA. The state income tax rate depends on the income in most states. In some states it is fixed at a specific rate, such as 3% in Pennsylvania, and 9 states do not have a state income tax in place. This includes New Hampshire, which however has a 5% tax on dividends. Florida does not levy a state income tax, but it has a corporate income tax. California has the highest maximum state income tax, which is at 13.3%. Regarding property taxes, Hawaii has the lowest rate of 0.32%. In New Jersey, property owners pay the most. An eye-popping 2.31% of the assessed value of the property annually. The sales tax rate also varies from state to state. The different states tax their residents in a variety of ways. So it's worth researching your destination state's tax system before moving. Analyzing all the specialities in the tax system of the 50 states would be too much for this video. So that's why I'll use a study from 24-7 Wall Street, which calculates the total state and local tax revenues per capita as a share of income for each state. Federal taxes were not included in this calculation. The US state with the lowest relative tax burden is… Alaska. Their residents pay only 7.2% of their income to the local government and state administration. Since the year of 1982, half of the annual profits that were generated from state-owned mining companies have been paid to residents through a dividend. So therefore Alaska residents receive an amount between 1000 and 2000 US dollars annually as a passive income. The state with the highest state and local taxes is not California, but New York. There the tax burden is at a whopping 13.8%. Each state again receives a value between 0 and 1 and we continue with security. Especially in case you are planning to move with your family, then safety probably plays an important role. So let's take a look at the number of violent crimes per 100,000 inhabitants for each US state. Here two states stand out, Alaska and New Mexico. It is hard to believe, but Alaska is actually one of the states that struggles most with high crime rates. The state with the lowest number of violent crimes per 100,000 residents is Maine. Once again, each state is given a value between 0 and 1, and now we are able to determine the most attractive state among these four factors.